that's the hotel owner. Um, his name is, <laughs> I call him Fabulous. He's a very flamboyantly gay guy. And he, he owns this hotel, he's awesome. Very attentive to guests. And um, all the staff are fantastic. Um, I'm walking in this English garden. Hold on one second. As you can hear it in my voice, I am not feeling good. <laughs> I've been having a cold and yesterday's hike from hell made it worse. <clears throat> Breathing in all those cold air and high wind, 60 miles per hour wind. Today I'm taking a zero in Grasmere, which is great because I can enjoy my time and explore this little town called Grasmere. I am going to walk to town, going to the pharmacy first to get some cold meds. <clears throat> and then uh, there's an outfitter, outdoor shop called Cotswold Outdoor uh, in town. So I'm going to get some more backpacking meal. And then there's a dove cottage where Woods, Wordsworth, I think he's a um, very famous poet that used to live in Dove Cottage and he's famous. So I'm gonna pass by there and I think my friend Elizabeth likes Wordsworth. Uh, after that, I'm going to visit the St. Oswald Church where, where Wordsworth family grave is. Um, I'm gonna show you what's around me right now. So I feel very silly. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of English is my second language or I am not used to the backpacking or the terrain terms that the English use over here. I mean, I hiked the AT for six months. I've never heard of crags or knots, um, fours and becks and tarns, moors. I'm not sure what those are. So when I see, when I see those words in in my coast to coast path book i just assume it's a name it's, it doesn't mean anything like i i saw a lot of crags on, on my book and i didn't think anything of it it's <laughs> i googled the words today I, it, it, it actually means a, a steep rugged rock face so <laughs> yesterday when i was struggling in the high wind i probably hiked over seven crags. <laughs> now I figured out what crags are. When I see crags on the book or on the map again, I will underestimate. Also knots is, uh, means hill. It's, uh, it has a Cumbric origin since I'm in the Cumbria um, county of England. It has Cumbric origin. <laughs> That's what Google tells me. Okay, I need to figure out where I'm going. This morning when I woke up, my legs were so sore. It took me a few minutes. They're still sore now, but uh, since I started walking, they feel better. I could have hiked, I guess. But the next section is also, I think there's a lot of crags. <laughs> I'm terrified. What is this? Oh, parking. Oh, Helm Crag. That, that, that's the last crag that I was, that I hiked yesterday. yesterday. Horrible, horrible. And it's very windy, even in the valley today. So I'm glad I was, I'm not hiking. I'm so traumatized from yesterday. <clears throat> but the thing I found about myself is I'm, I'm more brave, or brave, braver or more brave than last year. Last year I would have cried many times if put in that situation. Um, I would have panicked, but not, not this time. This area right there, the woodlands, is called Land Creek Woods. I arrived in the village. First, the pharmacy.
the village green. I want to open the top and see what's in it. <laughs> I'm walking through Wordsworth Daffodil Garden. I don't actually know what daffodils look like. <laughs> I'm not a flower person. I think I was up there yesterday. Mm. 